Hey guys, my name is the Game Goat. This is going to be my first video. What I'm looking to do here is daily walkthroughs of different games. And the first game I'm going to be doing here is going to be Dying Light. Now I've played this game a fair bit on the multiplayer with my buddy Kyle, and so I kind of know the mechanics, but I don't really know anything about the story. See this as packed packed with rice. And that's just because that's where he was when we started playing, and that's that's all the farther that he's gotten too, but that doesn't matter. So without further ado, let's do this. HUD activated. Commence briefing. Approaching Iran. Data on the subject, Kadir Suleiman. A local political figure hired to maintain order after the outbreak. His brother Hassan died in a disease-related incident before we were able to evacuate him. Suleiman blamed the GRE for Hassan's death. He stole a highly sensitive file which became his bargaining chip against the GRE, with instructions to publicize it if anything happened to him. Data on the subject. The stolen file. In 10 seconds. It details the incomplete process of synthesizing a cure for the virus. If implemented in its current state, the produced substance may be extremely toxic. Now. Also, the file contains full description of the Varian structure. Any attempt to use it would result in countless lives lost. It must be recovered. Further information. Current status. Suleiman sent the file to an associate unknown to us, with instructions to publicize it at his command at any time. To counter that, we instituted a citywide communication jam, preventing him from publicizing the file. Your GRE-issued radio can overcome that jamming. It is your lifeline. Do not lose it. Suleiman has since gone underground and begun using a different name. We have reason to believe he now leads one of the two main factions operating within the city. You are to find Suleiman and locate the stolen file in order to save mankind from a disaster of unprecedented proportions. Well, that's unfortunate. I told you that wasn't a normal drop shoot. Break his limbs, then take him to Rise. I think they're already broke. Back up! All of you! Stop! Loud noises draw them! Fall back! Fall back! Over, bitch. Come on, we have to move. Oh. <laughs> Just like stomp that thing's head off. Don't be a hero, man. Get me in a hero. Tower, this is Jade. Get sick bay ready. Got a guy with a bad head wound and a bite on one arm. Oh shit, Amir's hurt. No. Amir is gone. But I'm bringing in someone who might still survive. One of us? We'll see. What a nice lady.
You pinch him. You're scared. I'm not scared. Then pinch him. He blinked. What? He blinked again. What if he's a zombie? Ah! Zombie! Run! <laughs> Kids. Graphics in this game are actually really great. It gives you kind of a grainy look, which I suppose is supposed to be because there's a zombie apocalypse. You sleep for three days like a dead man and scare children? Off to a great start, you? Where am I? In paradise, can't you see? Okay, enough joking around. Head to room 190. The boss will leave. What do you mean, 31? Ask the boss! Screw you, dick. I got bit by a freaking zombie. 31. That's your number. Okay. Excuse me? Your number. You're the 31st infected. I'm the 18th. Everything is counted here. One fewer doses of antizin. One more new infected. One more runner gone. Fair enough. How come the little kids aren't scared of you? Amir died because of this guy? Quiet. Oh, fuck quiet. Now he's gonna get Amir's anti-scene. Wanna fight about it? We're just getting picked off. Oh, we gotta go upstairs. Oh my god, this guy moves so slow. I'm looking for the boss. Is he in there? Oh, you're 31. Go on in. Good security. Hey, I'm looking for the... Are you the boss? What, am I too young? You got the problem with my age? No, I... You wanted to talk to me? That's better. Do you remember anything? Know what you are? Yeah, I can, I can see this is some kind of shelter. We call it the tower. Brecken and his runners put it all together a couple of months ago, and we've been here ever since. Hunting airdrops, scavenging, and rescuing people. Yeah, I, I wanted to thank that girl. Good, because if not for her, you'd already be chewing somebody's knee bone. Your antigen was totally crushed, by the way. Only thing Jade could salvage was your radio. Oh, great. So can I get that back, please? Actually, I think I need it more than you do. Believe me, pal, that's not the case. Fine. Take it. You know why runners put their lives in danger? For guys like you. So now you take the antizin meant for someone else, and you won't even share your gear with us? I don't have time to deal with your bullshit. I've lost contact with one of our guys thanks to the fucked up radios we're stuck with. Do something for me, would you? I don't want to see you or your precious radio anymore, so go be useful somewhere else. We don't tolerate lazy assholes here in the tower. Hey, be fair. I'm not I'm not lazy. I'm just hey, boss. Save it. That last guy I mentioned, he's only on the 13th floor, but you might as well be trapped in a mine cave. In. Come back later. And I'm not the boss. Too young, remember? I'm Rahim. Brecken's in charge here. I'm sorry you're upset that I wouldn't give you my property. I'm not lazy, Terry. you little shit. Where do you think you're going? 13th floor. I'm getting some stuff for Raheem. 13? Shit. That's gonna be some dirty work. But we all got to pull our weight around here, huh? I suppose you're right. Jesus, how many people died here? Oh, don't do it. Oof. Thought there was going to be a kid in there for sure.
Crane here. Where were you? We've been waiting for your report. It's been over 70 hours. I lost my radio for a while. Don't worry, my cover's intact. No contact with the tower's leader yet. Unable to confirm identity. I'm taking steps to blend in. Acknowledged. Time is of the essence, Crane. Remember that. There's, there's one more thing. I... I got bitten. I've shown no symptoms, but the people here say I'm infected. Then you'd better get your hands on some Antis and ASAP, Help! hadn't you? Help! Somebody! What the hell? Oh yeah, metal pipe. I think every zombie game has a metal pipe as the first weapon. Oh, right in the dome, bitch! Take that. Jesus, you, you alright, man? I cut my arm getting away from him. Oh god. You had to kill him, you didn't cut your you? Arm, you lying sack of shit. God damn it! That was... that was my brother. I came down to see him and... Easy, easy. It's all right now. I'll, I'll get help. Hey, Raheem, this is Crane. I'm down here on 13. Listen, this guy of yours got fucked up pretty bad getting away from a zombie. Oh, shit. 31? You went after Mark? Is it... is it safe down there? Yeah, well, it's safe enough now. Okay, don't move. You better let me jump off that someday. Hey, hold still. Lena will be here any minute. Goss! You've got to find some goss! Oh, and alcohol! Combine them. That will stop the bleeding. Please hurry! I try to stay calm, okay? I'll be right back. Now I can open the stupid box. Just wreck. Why don't we just wrap duct tape around? Geez, we got plenty of that. A tin can. What I always wanted. Here we go. To miss something somewhere. Electronics. What am I missing? Why is the square box not going away? Oh. Well, there's not even anything in there. Just kick it in. There we go. Okay, I think that's everything I'm gonna find. Let's give this a shot. Let's. Okay, who's hurt? He's bleeding pretty bad. Let me see him. Goes in alcohol, huh? Pretty primitive, but it'll work. Thanks for the help. I'll take care of him from here. Yeah, you do that. This guy just appears out of nowhere. Yeah, 31. Not bad for a new guy. Perhaps I misjudged you. Yeah, I just want to help out and repay you guys for what you did for me. Well, good. Come find me, and we'll talk about how you can do that. Boy, the world looks great. When you look out the window right there, boy, that looks nice. Doing when you pick 
God, let's go talk to douchebag again. All right, taken care of. Piece of cake. What else you got for me? Well, let me think. Rahim, you are just smart enough to be dangerous, you know that? Omar told me about your plans for the nest. Explosive charges? Really? What? Explosives? Oh, I never please. said that. You can't tell a convincing lie to save your life. I know what I'm doing. Yeah? You think you can't die? You're not my mom. No, I'm not. Our mom's dead. So you might want to be a little nicer to me since I'm the only family you have left. Especially now that Amir is gone. You're Jade, right? Right. I just wanted to thank you for what you did for me and, and tell you how sorry I am for your loss. I owe you and Amir my life. Yeah, you do. You want to return the favor? Keep my dipshit brother from killing himself. No explosives, Rahim. Well, I guess the whole family just has a bad attitude. So... So, is that enough? Do I get to talk to Brecken now? First, go change your clothes. I left some new ones for you in your room. You're in 194. Something wrong with what I'm wearing? You need something that fits the job Brecken wants you to do. Call me when you've changed. Why is he so cocky about it? So, is that enough? I guess. Didn't really do much. Killed one zombie. Okay, Raheem, I'm ready. Off. Where do I find Brecken? Not so fast, 31. If you're going to earn your keep, we have to find out if you've got the skills. So get your ass up to the gym. Gym? What are you talking about? It's on the top floor. Just a couple flights up. Oh. I take it that means I need to go to the stairs. Zombies like computers. <laughs> Zombies are like computers. What are those guys talking about? Raheem, I don't see you. Where are you? Those. Well, that was kind of reckless. Well, what are you waiting for? Get over here. Gotcha. I hate bumper jumper. I know a lot of people like to use it in Call of Duty or and in Destiny sometimes too, but I just can't. What to feel right at home? A crane on a crane. That was a pretty lame joke. I have noticed in this game when you're running on something, you really have to stay right in the middle because you can fall off pretty much anything. Welcome to our gym. First things first, you've got to learn how to run. What do you mean, learn how to run? Just do what I say, all right? Now, jump down to the very bottom. Are you nuts? I'd kill myself. Don't be a wimp. Come on, you can't be serious. Watch this. Raheem! My leg! Jesus, don't move! I'll get help! Ha! I was just fucking with you! Son of a bitch! What? You can't take a joke? Come on! Get your ass down here! Christ on a crutch. Christ on a crutch. I guess I haven't heard that one. <laughs> Holy shit! Holy shit! It's a rush, isn't it? But don't blow your load just yet. There's more. To survive outside, you got to take advantage of the terrain. Most eaters suck at climbing, so the harder the terrain is, the better for you. I've got some typical situations set up for you. Let's see how you handle them. It's hard for me to believe that a bunch of trash bags and a few mattresses is going to break that fall. Try 
Just called me a noob. No way. That sucks. Jeez, this guy like jumps off the ladder. See what I mean? I mean, you can really just fall off anything. You have to stay right in the middle. It's pretty, it's pretty finicky, but kind of like that in the game. Instead of just making you automatically stay on something when you're on it, it gives it a more realistic effect, effect which is nice. Boy, I am not very good at staying on. The that small thing either. <laughs> okay, that's enough. You've got some serious natural talent, man. Either that, or you've done this before. You've done this before? Hardly. The closest I ever came to this was running track in high school. <laughs> well, then you're a fucking prodigy. Never seen anything like it. I'll show you a prodigy, turd. What? Oh. What is happening to me? Shit. Uh -oh. Shit. Talk to me. What's going on? Something went wrong. Raheem, what just happened to me? Oh shit. I bet you're having your first seizure. Just get back over here. Yes, sir. On my way, sir. Let me just walk across this crane when I'm way up here in the air while I'm having a seizure. Ooh, that hurt. Maybe I should have went to this pile of garbage bags. I'm right here. Hello? Raheem, what the fuck was that? Does this mean I'm, I'm turning? Most likely no. At least not yet. Caesars reminds you that you're infected. You better go see Dr. Zera, though. He'll check you out, probably give you a shot of antizin. Before you head out to see Zera, talk to the quartermaster. He'll uh, gear you up so you can go outside without getting your head bitten off. Fair enough. I don't really think I need to be reminded that I'm infected. Fence really needs to be there. Hold X, not just push it. Can't you read? All right, they've given me an actual job, and nobody suspects I'm not who I say I am. So far, so good. And once Dr. Zara helps me manage these symptoms I'm dealing with, I'll be even better. Sometimes I wonder how long that A prompt is there before I actually notice it and push the button. Oh, you're the new scout. Rahim radioed me about you. Yeah, that's me. Name's Crane. I'm not gonna bother learning your name till you survive a few days, but here, this is for you. That's reassuring. Thanks, man. By the way, 
Word around the tower is you're just <coughs> another deadbeat in line for food or antizen. By which I mean, the people here don't much like you. But don't blame them. It's easy to get paranoid when you're isolated. And since somebody's jamming communications to the outside, there's plenty of paranoia to go around. Whole damn city with nobody to call for help but ourselves. You bring me some supplies from the airdrops, though, and you'll see people change their tunes in a hurry. That shit's a game changer. Uh, thanks. I'll bear that in mind. Listen, is there anything else? I'm in a bit of a rush. <coughs> also, if you're looking to get more popular, you can try helping folks. Do a few favors, they might like you more. Might even find a woman. Keep you warm at night. <laughs> Well, that was just a great joke, mister. So basically what that guy is, is just, he'll have, I don't know if they're deliveries or what they are that he has, but all the stuff he has is all free. You don't have to pay for anything. It's just kind of, you go to him every now and then, and he'll have a whole bunch of stuff that you can just have. So sad. But that's going to do it for this episode, guys. I will uh, have another one up today, hopefully, and definitely going to try and keep coming up, coming up with two videos every day of this, and there's probably going to be some Destiny in here, and I guess I don't know what else right now, maybe some arcade games or something from the Xbox store, just stuff like that. But if you like the video and you want to see more, or tell me how fast you want to see them and that kind of thing, or if you want to see any specific games being played. Let me know in the comments below. But if you liked the video, go ahead and hit the like button, drop a bomb on the subscribe button, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace!